guys! And Nick here are going on a van adventure. It's pretty gray skies uh, in Christchurch and around the whole kind of east coast this weekend. Rainy and all that. So we're headed over to the west coast to hopefully to find some sunshine. I think we're going to go to Punakaiki, which I've never been there before. So I'm excited to check out some new stuff. We're just listening to some podcasts, eating some veggie chips, very expensive veggie chips, turns out. Okay, we've just stopped off to go on a little walk and look at the mountains and like there's even <gasps> snow on the ground. That excites me. It's really like winter now. <laughs> Still really weird for me to have winter in June. It's not too bad. The sun is out though, so we managed to find the sun, which is very exciting. And yeah, gonna go explore. So cool. I love the trees. What? Look at this view. Twenty minutes, four to five days. Okay. <laughs> oh, so nice out here. <laughs> wow, it's amazing how much better I feel in fresh air. The trees in this little forest are beech trees, and there's actually five kinds of beech trees in this little area, which is very uncommon for them all to be in one place. I just read that on this thing. Uh, but it's very interesting. We have red beech, mountain beech, hard beech, silver beech, and black beech. And this little stuff that's hanging off of the trees is referred to as old man's beard. <laughs> Good fresh air on the road again. I just wanted to take a little moment to say if you come to New Zealand and you're driving around, you'll probably encounter sometimes when you're stuck behind a car or a camper van that's slower than you. What do you do? A. Do nothing. B. Pass safely. C. Wait for a passing lane. Or D. Wait for them to pull over. Well, any of them are acceptable, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what you should not do is pass unsafely. If you are going to pass, make sure it's not around a corner, very important, and that you have clear visibility that no cars are coming the other direction. Is that it? Yep. Any other tips? Uh, no, you just got to be patient, I think. Okay. Yeah, patience is key. So yeah, right now we're, we're behind this camper, but there's just nowhere that's been safe to pass. On the other hand, if you are the slow person, if you notice there are several cars behind you, then when you do see a safe spot to pull over, pull over. But make sure also it's a safe spot to pull over. Oh, there you go. Bye. There's a little lesson for you in New Zealand safe driving. We made it. <laughs> Smooth sailing. Well, we have like an hour left. One hour to go. We made it to the west coast. And there's the ocean. And I'm super excited that we get to watch the sunset over the ocean tonight. Pulled over for a little beach time. It's so beautiful out here. It feels all wild. The wild west coast. Mm. 
The other cool thing is that there's no one else here. We're the only ones on the beach. The huge, huge beach. The sand flies are out and they're vicious, so we're gonna head off. Beautiful sunset though. We're staying over at a little uh, camping site, so gonna head there. Okay, Nick fact, have you been here before? Nope, not to this beach. Oh, it's a Nick first. <laughs> Nick first. Nick first. Your Nick fact? It's a Mari first too. <laughs> but you've been to Punakeki before. I have, yeah. Yeah, it's a good place to run away to. Check the weather is quite often different on the each side of the Alps in New Zealand. Yeah, what he said. All right, we've just made it to the campsite, and it's a pretty epic spot. We're just gonna set up the bed and then eat some dinner. It gets dark so early right now. I don't know what else to do for the night, but we'll figure it out. Should be good, but it's a pretty cool spot here. Yeah, yeah. lovely campsite here. Ooh, so good. Nice sleep in the van, pretty cozy. We just had a nice little breakfast and we are about to go on a walk, do some exploring. It just feels really tropical. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, Hawaii. Why worry? Why worry? This area is known for this, these pancake rocks. Uh, so we're going there. But okay, look at this rock up here. What? This is your new home, Nick. Oh. We've just stumbled upon a cave. So we came in, Punakeki Cave. Pancake rocks just makes me feel hungry. Pretty cool out here. We're off on a little walk. We wanted to do this big loop. Well, not that big, medium-sized loop, but uh, one of the whole sections has been washed away by a recent storm. So, unfortunately, we can't do that, so we're just doing little bits. So this one, we can just walk 20 minutes <laughs> in before the track is closed, and then we're gonna drive somewhere and then walk to a different part of it. Very beautiful out here. Very Jurassic Parky. Ooh. I'm seriously loving it so much here. It feels just so jungly and so different. It's definitely one of my new favorite parts of New Zealand here. Now for a little bit of lunch before we go on our next adventure. Guess what we've got this time? <laughs> Actually, it's been a while since we've eaten these, but three, two, one. Ah, wraps. Three months.
too. We're getting ready to go. We just packed up. But I was gonna show you the path to the beach from here. It's a nice beach. Okay, let's go. nice going to sleep with the sound of the waves. Happy days! It's been a really nice time here. Let's go. Just a little stop off looking over the Otira Valley. And my first time seeing Kia in the wild up close. They're pretty cool. Cheeky alpine parrots. This drive is so beautiful, so stunning. Every time you make a new turn, it's like, whoa! Back to Christchurch, we're going over Arthur's Pass. Uh, on the way there, we went over the Lewis Pass. Uh, back over to the East Coast. We just got back home to rainy Christchurch. Now, my least favorite part of any travels is the unpacking. <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that little Punakaki West Coast trip. And I hope you all are doing well and having some fun travels. Alright, see you next time. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Bye!